WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Friday, December the 17th, Options Expiration Day. We're looking at the Dow down 485 points at 35,410, down 1.36% starting to catch up to the others, the weak others, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But first of all, remember how I said yesterday at this time, it was good that the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone was becoming a propellant zone, but it has to hold. Well, the, the Dow reached 36,189. That's less than 400 points from the all-time high, and then it turns around, closes a little bit weak, but still above the green line right there, and now... That has become a repellent zone. Talk about a repellent zone. Look at the S&P. The S&P made this arch formation. And I spoke about this potential for us that the characteristics that we're looking at at this particular point are that double top formation where it gets you within fractions of the previous high, where the previous high was months, days, weeks. Look at this, 47.43.83 in the S&P 22nd of November. Pulls back sharply, makes a V-shaped recovery, and goes to what? 47.31.93. Uh, so let's call it 47.32. 11, 12 points away from an all-time high. Now pulling back. You can see the same thing in the in the weekly chart. Look at the QQQ. Index 100. The pattern that we're looking at. Remember, I spent a little time uh, uh, yesterday and the day before talking about this pattern that I call the dreaded H. Why? Because if you... Here it is. If you take out this left side low, you can make an arch formation that fails at a peak A or B, peak B. And if it takes out that left side low, that'll be 378.90 on the QQQ. It's at 384.35 right now. Watch out. That's going to say, finally, you've got the second of a big pullback in the H pattern. And that's going to make it uh, determine whether or not December just the action for the rest of December. We'll be following this closely. IWM, the Russell 2000 small caps, has already broken that left side in the arch formation. Now, what's really interesting here is that gold is running quite nicely. It's up 10 after a really strong day yesterday. My suspicion is that there's a chance that you know, money's always trying to find a home. And there's a chance now that the gold sector can actually find a home for money and we start to see a nice counter trend. I'm calling it a counter trend rally at least at this time for gold, but at least it could be a decent rally. We'll see if gold is able to get 